Hi people, so I'm back again with another character design style speed paint and today I'm working on designing a villain character for my little comic series I'm working on. I don't have tons to say about her or this piece but I felt bad that I didn't do a voiceover last week so I figured I'd at least talk you through my thought process and if you don't want to listen to that stick me on mute, put some nice music in the background and enjoy! This character is known as Morgos, and she is inspired by the classic Arthurian enchantress and villain of the same name. She is often referred to as the Enchantress, and besides Merlin, tends to be the most powerful human sorcerer that appears in the legends. She is also commonly known for raising her son Mordred, with the sole intention of sucking out all of his personality and capability for love and compassion, and instead shaping him into the perfect king to replace Arthur so that she can puppeteer him and usurp the throne. I specifically wanted to focus on Morgos as a powerful warrior as well as a witch, with the idea of her one day helping to lead Mordred's army into battle maybe so she wanted to look strong, and I decided I need to design an awesome set of armour. I'd probably say my main inspirations for this were the White Witch from Narnia, and her kind of ruthless imposing battle look when she's riding in that little chariot pulled by the polar bear. Um, I know it's random. And the Ringwraiths from Lord of the Rings, specifically thinking about the Witch King of Angmar's super spiky helmet that he wears in the Battle of Gondor. My original love for the Arthurian legends actually came from a book series called The Squire Tales by Gerald Morris, who sometimes associated Mordred with snakes, and at least once in his stories there was a specific reference to a dagger with snakes carved into the handle. Snakes also remind me of my favourite charismatic villain, Loki from Marvel, and I figured the inclusion of some snakes in my drawing might help me add the same sort of charm to my villain. Something about snakes is kind of like the idea of they're sneaky and they seem beautiful, but really they're going to bite you and you're going to die. This also gave me an excellent opportunity to include some green in my colour palette. Both my main hero Dinadan and King Arthur frequently wear red in the comic I'm writing, and so it only seemed appropriate that their opposite would be wearing green, which is opposite on the colour wheel. Green also kind of references Morgos' connection to nature through her fairy bloodline, which kind of starkly contrasts the rest of her design and the more industrial background I've put in. As for her specific story though, I don't have too many details fleshed out, but I would love to hear in the comments what you guys think makes a great villain. That's all I have to say on this piece, but if you really want to hear more of my ramblings, then give me a couple of suggestions down below about what I can talk about in my voiceovers, because I really do have trouble coming up with things, and if I get some suggestions I will try and do a longer voiceover next week. With that said, thank you for listening, um, enjoy the rest of the speed paint, and if you have time maybe leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!